Hey everybody, how's it going? Ben here from The Beard Guys. So, bringing you a special video today that I have been working on for quite some time, gathering a ton of footage for. And what we're looking at today is the performance of PUBG on Xbox and how bad it is and what you can do to try and fix that. So, what we're looking at in the background at the moment is some Xbox One original footage. This is me playing uh, PUBG on my old Xbox One. We've also got some footage coming up on my Xbox One X, and then we got some comparison footage playing on both consoles whilst using a solid state hard drive. Now, as you can see, the performance is pretty, pretty terrible. It's the early game performance that gets hit so badly when you don't have an SSD on this game. And it was pretty shocking how bad it was on the original Xbox. I've been playing on my Xbox One X for the whole time the game's been out really. And I hadn't really played it on the original Xbox. So I went back, uh, I set it up on my old Xbox and I played, I played on every map. I dropped all the different hot drops and tried a whole bunch of stuff just to see really what the experience was like for a base Xbox user with no SSD, which is probably quite a few people. As you can see, the performance across all the maps is pretty shocking. Vikendi is by far the worst Vikendi performance. Um, surprisingly for it being the most recently released map, has by far the worst performance in the game in terms of loading. It takes so long to load in uh, buildings and assets at the beginning of the game. And keep in mind, all of these clips are also at two times speed. So uh, these are all at double speed. You can see here I'm driving very fast and we've managed to uh, drive through a whole town that hasn't loaded in and then turn around and then drive back again. It's worth keeping in mind, guys, by the way, that some of this footage was taken before the most recent patch, just before, and some of it was taken afterwards, such as this clip here. This is after the recent patch. The before I tried the... I tested the performance on both sides of the patch and it didn't really seem to be uh, a huge difference. So I have included footage uh, from both. As you can see here, we've dropped at uh, Volnova and none of the town has loaded in at all. Lamb there was running on uh, his Xbox One X, so it loaded in for him. Um, but for me, there was absolutely nothing uh, whilst playing on the original Xbox. So Vikendi has easily the worst performance. Then I'd say Miramar is pretty bad as well, Hacienda and Picardo particularly, and driving around fast on Miramar, you saw us go flying off the invisible bridge earlier on. Uh, then Erangel is uh, still pretty questionable, and Sano also has some issues. But uh, moving on now, we're onto the Xbox One X footage. I could have shown you tons and tons of Xbox One OG footage, but uh, it was <laughs> there was so much to go through. So I just show you some highlights of each map and you guys can make your own mind up. But now we're on the Xbox One X. As you can see, the performance is um, its still pretty poor. It's, uh, I, it is better. It's definitely better. Not so much on this map. The performance on Miramar is still very, very poor. You can see Hacienda doesn't load in at all. On the Xbox One X, you end up, I think I get stuck under the floor on this one. Picardo, again, is an absolute horror show. Uh, on this map and you also see a lot of play-doh buildings if you drive around very fast so it's not just the early game that gets affected uh, it is also if you drive around fast on this map you're going to see some serious issues while you drive around i think the bridge did just about load in when i was playing on the xbox one x and driving at it uh, we didn't fall through it like on the original but you can still see it's uh, pretty pretty rife with bugs. I got stuck under the floor here. You could shoot out uh, people. I chose not to kill anyone, but uh, we just showed that we, we could. Moving on to Vikendi. You can see here, this is uh, post-patch footage uh, over at Villa. Villa loads in awfully and pretty much everywhere uh, on Vikendi loads in pretty badly. Particularly, it's, it's always worse if you drop somewhere that is directly underneath the plane so you get to the ground quicker. The quicker you get to the ground, uh, the worse the loading is because the less time it has to load the map. You can see here it sort of loads in in stages and it sort of freezes up a tiny bit as it loads in the next bit. This is uh, the cave drop you saw in the earlier footage, the Xbox One OG. I was able to get into the cave without cracking the, the rock open. I was also able to do that on the Xbox One X. It was slightly trickier. I had a couple of attempts, it didn't work, but uh, that one I got in. 
Uh, and as you can see, there was already, I think there were five people in the cave without the, uh, without the door being broken open, which was, um, which is pretty shocking. This is Volnova again on the Xbox One X this time. You can see the buildings have loaded uh, as Play-Doh buildings and we just get stuck here and it glitches out. So I'm going to go over in a minute what you can do to try and alleviate these problems. Um, I definitely think it's uh, I, it surprised me how bad the performance was having played on an SSD for a while. I think it's it's kind of shocking looking at the first couple of minutes in this video that this is a game you can pay money for and buy on the Xbox One original. People pay money for that game as you know a finished product. And don't get me wrong, I love PUBG. It's a super fun game to play. It's fantastic you know experience in many ways but the the quality the the quality of the game in that early game loading is the worst i have ever seen on any console game in my life it is it is absolutely shocking absolutely shocking um and i don't think anything's going to be done about it now i think this is this is pubg and this is how it's going to be on xbox sadly um unless you choose to get an ssd which we're going to go over in a sec i don't think that you know it's a shame that's the case but i don't think we can really do a lot about it now um, so if you do want to have the best PUBG Xbox or console experience you want to have, then you need to buy yourself a separate solid state hard drive. And we're going to go over that in just a minute. So here is uh, the Xbox One original footage using the SSD. So you can see here coming in a military base, when we did this originally, uh, you could tell it was all totally Play-Doh. None of it that had loaded in at all. You can see that it all fully loaded in. There was a slight jolt as we landed as it loaded in some new assets. Uh, but otherwise it was fully loaded in. We can see on Sanok here, boot camp, fully loaded in, dropping Picardo. We land on the casino, which is a bit of a nightmare spot. Normally the whole interior already loaded in. Again, over at Hacienda. At Hacienda, we had a little issue. The building loaded, the interiors hadn't, and we get stuck in a chair for a second here. So not perfect, but it is uh, clearly a much, much better experience. Uh, then without the SSD, and here we go with the classic, the bridge, the bridge attempt, the bridge is fully loaded in, uh, and we're able to uh, fly off the side of it and crash. So moving on to Vikendi, the worst offender, we can see that we land at Castle. Castle was pretty much loaded in. It hasn't loaded the interiors just yet. It takes a little while for uh, for those to pop in, but there we go. They have uh, they have now clicked in, and we're able to run around and have a bit of fun. So the SSD that I use, guys. So an SSD is a solid state hard drive. It's a hard drive that runs faster, basically, than a standard hard drive. And you can buy USB ones that plug into your Xbox that you can use pretty, pretty easily. The one I use is the Samsung T5 portable 250 gigabyte SSD. They also do larger models than that. The basic requirements from Microsoft for using an SSD with your Xbox is that it needs to be 256 gigabyte minimum, they say, but 250 works just fine. Uh, as I said, I use a 250 gig. I think if you go much below that, it won't register with the Xbox. You won't be able to format it for the Xbox. By the way, you can see here we're on the Xbox One X using the SSD footage here. You can see everything loads in just fine. This is the optimum PUBG Xbox experience. This is the Xbox X with an SSD. As you can see, it's pretty, pretty much flawless in terms of the early game loading. Uh, you don't really see any issues uh, whatsoever. So yeah, I use the, the Samsung T5. You can also buy, if you want a cheap option, you may be able to buy an internal SSD that you'd normally put inside a computer and then you can buy yourself either a housing that has a USB output to plug into your Xbox or you can buy a adapter cable that will allow you to plug it into your Xbox. But please keep in mind, when you get an SSD, it needs to be 250 gigabyte minimum in order to work it has to be an ssd a solid state drive not an hdd not just a hard drive a solid state drive it's a very common problem that a lot of people keep making is just going and buying any random usb hard drive and then it doesn't work also keep in mind once you've plugged it in to your xbox you'll need to move the game onto that hard drive so you're loading it off of it and also make sure that it's no longer on your internal drive those are the most common problems. We've seen it come up a lot. 
A ton of people in our community now use SSDs with PUBG and you'll find it's what most people I think who really wanna slog on with PUBG and play it on Xbox long term are now doing. If you think you've got an SSD and your game looks like the video clips on the non-SSD footage you saw in this video, then you're probably doing something wrong. And the most common mistakes we've seen people make is they have bought just a normal hard drive that isn't an SSD, or they have bought an SSD and plugged it into their Xbox and then not actually installed the game on it, so they're still running the game off of their internal drive. And if you buy one that's too small in capacity, then you just won't be able to even format it on the Xbox in the first place. So hopefully you all found that video useful. I wanted to just show first off just how poor the performance on PUBG Xbox really is for a lot of players. I wasn't able to show Xbox One S performance. I don't have an Xbox One S, but speaking to members of our community, it sounds like it's sort of somewhere in the middle between the X and the One. Uh, it still has a drastic improvement from buying the SSD. I know people who run one and it still has a lot of issues uh, if you choose not to run one. So I wanted to demonstrate how that performance was. And I also wanted to uh, explain to people how they can make that performance better. No, I don't think it's acceptable that you need to go and pay more money to buy an SSD to make this game run at a basically acceptable standard. I think the standard it runs at is unacceptable is very very poor but there's no other choice there's no other choice if you want to play PUBG on Xbox and have a decent quality experience in the early game then you need to have an SSD and unfortunately that's how it is I'll put a link down below to uh, the SSD that I use the Samsung link that is through our affiliate links we're an Amazon affiliate so we do get a small kickback if you choose to buy something through there what I'd recommend if you have any questions at all about a solid state drive, what you should get, what you shouldn't get, I'd recommend hopping on our Discord server. I'll put a link down below and that's where our community hangs out. And there's a ton of people on there who have bought SSDs and used them with PUBG and you can get good advice from a lot of people who have tried this uh, before you go out and buy something. So I'd really recommend doing that. It's a really friendly community uh, and people will be very much happy to help you. And lastly, don't forget that if you want to watch us play some PUBG, live we stream on twitch every single weekday and we sometimes stream on youtube too so check out the twitch stream on twitch.tv slash the beard guys please give this video a like and subscribe if you have found it useful at all my name is ben we are the beard guys and i'll see you next time